On June 21, 2004, the first ever space tour or suborbital flight was taken by the company Spaceship One. Spaceship One became the first private company to carry out a human space tour flight by reaching an altitude of about 100 kilometers. Since then, numerous companies have come forward and are still developing plans to take space junkies to space to get a glimpse of the wonder that's out there, beyond this world. So if you're a space junkie and want to travel to space, stay here because today we're going to relay some of the options for you which would allow you to witness the wonder. It can cost from $100,000 to millions of dollars to go to space. So sadly, it's not a luxury ordinary people like us can afford. Many modern and private space companies are offering packages for a nice and cozy space ride. Although over the years there have been some unsuccessful space projects, traveling to space is not a distant thought anymore. In just a few decades, the industry has progressed and has shown some wondrous developments. Here are some of the companies offering a space tour that we're going to be discussing in this video. But before we begin, make sure you've subscribed to the channel and press the bell icon for notifications of new uploads so you don't miss out on our videos. SpaceX there's very little possibility that Elon Musk owned SpaceX is not known by the peeps today. SpaceX is going to be one of the first aerospace companies to launch humans into orbit. Super thrilling, I know, right? Instead of spending a few minutes in space through a suborbital flight, you'll spend days in space. I would kill to have a tour to space. SpaceX is offering a 10-day trip to space. Of course, if the duration of a space flight is longer, it's going to be pricier, too. This 10-day trip to space by SpaceX will cost about $55 million. Other than that, SpaceX will also be the first company to launch a tourism space flight to the moon. After finalizing a deal with Japanese businessman Yusaka Meizawa, the mission is said to be proceeding in 2023. SpaceX, with its Falcon 9 and New Dragon capsule, aims to send people to space. In the summer of 2020, it became the first private company to launch people into orbit. It's now planning to send more people into orbit. Elon Musk is surely doing more than just planning to send people to Mars for sure. No doubt the space industry is growing rapidly. So if you're interested, register yourself. Axiom Space Axiom Space is another privately funded American aerospace company that plans on sending people to space. Being the world's first ever commercial space station, Axiom Space is also one of the first space companies to send humans into orbit for a tour. The Axiom Space Station is connected to the IIS. The space station has all sorts of luxuries and also has hundreds of color-changing LEDs. Like SpaceX, it costs about $55 million to $60 million to get a seat. The SpaceX Axiom Space One is a SpaceX-planned Crew Dragon that's being developed by Space Axiom and is being operated by SpaceX on behalf of Space Axiom. The Crew Dragon plans on sending people to space on an eight-day stay. I'm pretty sure you've heard about the speculation that Tom Cruise would be a passenger on board for another enthralling Mission Impossible stunt. Well, this was the space station they were planning to film the stunt in. Tom Cruise never compromises on the stunts and we all love him for that. The first stage of the full thrust version of Falcon 9 Block 5 is reusable. Like SpaceX's orbital flight, the trip to space will be about 8 to 10 days. But going to space requires a lot more than just purchasing a ticket. Days before the onset of space, you'll be trained to be physically and mentally fit and fully ready to go out into space. The training for this will be provided by the company themselves. Virgin Galactic Being the world's first commercial space line, Virgin Galactic was founded in the year 2004. Virgin Galactic also aims to send people into space, but through a suborbital flight. The suborbital flight reaches an altitude of about 100 kilometers and then falls back freely to Earth giving the onlookers a glimpse of outer space for about five to seven minutes at most. The Spaceship 2 Virgin Galactic's suborbital spacecraft is launched from underneath a carrier plane called the White Knight. Spaceship 2 is another reusable spacecraft that can carry eight people, including two pilots, to space. Tickets for this tour cost about $250,000, but the price may vary with passing time. Over 600 people have already registered for the space flight. You can register too through their website. The staff will stay in touch with you from time to time to let you know the status. Blue Origin Next up, we have Blue Origin. Blue Origin is a private aerospace company that's providing suborbital space tours for people out there. With its New Shepard and New Glenn reusable rockets in development, Blue Origin is on the road for developing its space tourism business. The company is owned and funded by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, whose main aim is to provide reusable rockets to reduce the cost of space travel. So you see, the booster of the New Shepard rocket is reusable as they return to Earth, 
so it can be used four to five times. In comparison to SpaceX's Falcon 9, it's pretty small. Right now, Blue Shepard is carrying a payload to space, but soon enough, it'll be able to carry passengers too. The new Glen Rocket in comparison to the new Shepard is larger, with a whole lot more payload area. The rocket is still in development and is scheduled to carry out its first flight by 2023. It won't be long before the new Glen will be able to carry tourists to space. Tickets for this space tour provided by the company cost two to three hundred thousand dollars. You can sign up for the tour by going to their website. Go on before it gets too late. NASA. We're all familiar with NASA now, right? NASA is also taking full advantage and utilizing its contracts with SpaceX. Boeing is also in a contract with NASA to take astronauts to and from the International Space Station. It plans on sending private astronauts to space as well. The ticket would cost about $60 million, and a bed for every single night would cost about $35,000. The crewed mission was supposed to take place in 2020, but unfortunately, due to the pandemic, the mission was postponed. Now, let's hope once things get back to normal, we can finally witness tourists going to space. Space Adventure Next up on our list, we have Space Adventure. Space Adventure is another private space company aiming to transport ambitious tourists to space. Space Adventure are the only private space company to have flown private astronauts to and from the International Space Station. The price for tickets is unknown as of yet and will depend on the mission timing. Details will be revealed soon. You can register yourself by visiting their website. Well, there we have it, folks. These are the space companies that plan on taking mankind into space to experience the majesty and wonders of space to its fullest. To be alive in this day and age is the best time to be alive for space enthusiasts. With aerospace companies SpaceX, Virgin Galactic, and NASA developing rapidly, there's no doubt that in a few years, mankind will accomplish wonders that were a distant thought for generations before us. Well, that's all for this video. For more such informative videos, make sure you press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded.